Uh, Sky Prince also get uh, a bonus walk speed, as you can see. Oh, oh, oh my God, yo! All right, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie, man, just flew up. Oh. Before we get into the video, I'm hosting a giveaway, so if you're struggling to get strong powers in Project XL, like the video, subscribe to all notifications, and leave a comment with your Discord name and tag to get a chance to win a strong power in Project XL, such as a Pika, Goro, or any of the top fruits and powers in Project XL at the moment. Alright, so in this video, what I'm basically going to do is showcase every single race in Project XL at the moment. Alright, we're going to be starting off with the first race, which happens to be human. So this race, it doesn't really give you any ability, it doesn't do anything, it's just a human race, simple human race. So yeah, let me show you how it looks like. Just you know, just a normal human though. But let me just show you. All right, so this is my boy right here. As you can see, he eats a heart and then becomes a human. Nothing changes. <laughs> he stays the same. Gets no ability. Nothing. And that's the first race, y'all. With that being said, we're gonna be moving on to the second race, which happens to be Comate Tribe. Comate Tribe. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it gives you f plus five percent life steal. Five percent life steal. Ooh, that sounds good. So. According to my knowledge, I heard that this race, what it does basically every time you land a hit on somebody, you gain health. So you do damage to somebody, and at the same time, you get health. That's pretty cool, bro. Pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, with that being said, let's showcase this race real quick. Okay, so a part of my damage just basically becomes healing. And that even includes um, damage over time, so if I were to do this, Damn, bro. you'd still be seeing this. I'm yeah, still healing. that's pretty clean, bro. And OP. Shoot. Yeah, it's clean. Alright, so that was Comate Tribe. Now moving on to the Sky Peen Race. So the Sky Peen Race gives you bonus Gepo height. Alright, so yeah, with that being said, let's start showcasing this bad boy. So Sky Peen, Sky Peens get more uh get more of a higher uh, jump in uh, using Gepo. I don't think I got Gepo though. Oh I see. No, it's like it's just like a uh, it's like an enhanced jump, yeah. Yeah, see? I see. Alright, so yeah. As you guys can see, he jumps the highest just because of his race. So that's what the, the Sky Pian race does. Uh, Sky Pians also get uh, a bonus walk speed, as you can see. A bonus walk speed? Yeah, it's just a little bit of a bonus walk speed. All right, that's it for the Sky Pian race. Moving on to this race right here. I don't know how to pronounce this word, so I'm just going to call it the Tribe race. And what it does is basically bonus health regeneration. Basically, uh, we gen your health faster. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, just we, we gen your health fast. So yeah, with that being said, we're gonna showcase this bad boy real quick, and yeah, let's get to it. All right, my health is still 100. Bruh, do damage to me, bro. Attack me, bro. Yeah, they're not attacking me for some reason. All right, finally they're attacking me. All right, check it out, guys. Look how fast my health regions. Right now I got after damage on me, so yeah, give it a second. Up here, wait for that after damage to go away. Give it a sec. All right, they won't leave me alone now, bro. <laughs> Yikes! All right, now look at my health, guys. Look how fast it regens. Not too fast, but faster than you know, normal it's usually regens your health. So, yeah, that's Toronto. Try for y'all, boys. Next race isn't gonna be Fishman because for some reason they made Fishman race unobtainable. So, yeah, we're not gonna showcase on this video. We're gonna be moving on to a bizarre human but for sure as soon as fishman is added back into the game i might do a showcase on it like there's a good chance i'm, I'm gonna do a showcase on it but yeah we're gonna be showcasing a bizarre human so the effect that the special ability gives you is stand jump press t to jump high so if you have this race and you press t you get to jump high all right pretty cool and with that being said the showcase is bad boy all right we got a guy with the bizarre human race all right so click t and jump with it real quick Alright, so apparently if you click T, you jump with it. It allows you to jump high. So let's see how high he jumps. Oh, oh! Oh my god, yo! Do that again. Alright, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Man just flew up. Alright, do that again, bro. Oh my god. Alright, that is clean, bro. That's mad clean. I'm liking it. I'm gonna try to get this race myself, bro. That's gonna be a great feature to use to get away from attacks or 
yeah, just attacks. That's that's pretty good to be honest. Pretty good. All right, so yeah, that's a bizarre human race for y'all. All right, guys. Next up, actually, I'm not gonna showcase this race in this video. This is the only race I'm not gonna showcase. Human hybrid because it's exactly like the human race, but the only difference is that it gives you 50% experience gain. So yeah, that's pretty good, bro. So if you're a noob or trying to level up your power mastery or just trying to level up anything, then I highly suggest you guys try to get this race. This race is really good to have when grinding. So yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, bro. You don't change. Like, your character stays the same, but you get 50% extra experience gain. All right, next race is going to be Mink. All right, so Mink allows you to move fast. So it just gives you a bonus sprint walk speed. Alrighty, so yeah, with that being said, let's showcase this bad boy. Not bad, alright. Okay, that's Mink right there. And with that being said, start running around and walking, bro. Check how fast he's moving. There's two Minks right here. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> Man, just fling me, okay? But yeah, as you guys can see, that's Mink's special ability. Just allows them to move super, super fast. Like, they're pretty fast um, compared to a normal player. So yeah, that's the Mink race. With that being said, moving on to the next race. All right, moving on to the next and last race, Celestial Dragon. So what this race basically allows you to do is get more gold, gain more gold to be specific. So there's buckets around the map and if players get it, they get a specific amount of gold. But if a Celestial Dragon user gets it, he doesn't get the same amount of gold as other players. He gets 50 extra percent of gold than the other players. And that's what this race basically does. So yeah, with that being said, the showcase is bad boy. When I just click those, I just get more money, you know? All right, 50%. All right, perfect. Oh, yeah, share your screen. All right, so what I basically did in this clip was watch his stream on Discord. This guy's stream right here. The guy with the Celestial Dragon race. And what he did was, you know, have four buckets on him. He basically used those buckets and showed me how much gold he gained. Keep in mind, he gains more gold than a normal player gains just because he got the Celestial Dragon race, which gives him 50% more gold. So yeah, with that being said, that's a Celestial Dragon, and that's all the races in Project XL at the moment. Hopefully you guys ended up finding this video helpful, and with this that being said, it's been your boys, I'm going to one piece. Hey.